Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am in the process of renovating a three bed Victorian property in London. So if you are into renovation and interiors content, then please do a like and subscribe. So you would have seen in the title that I'm gonna give you a tour of my wet room. So I've given you a kitchen tour, I've done a dining room tour, but I've never really properly shown you the wet room. And the wet room actually was one of the rooms that was I think completed the earliest if I am not mistaken and if my memory serves me well. So I would say that it's probably 90% complete and I'll talk you through why it's not 100% complete when we do the actual tour. But if you haven't seen what the area used to look like before, I highly recommend it. I gave, I think I did a video where I talked about how much my extension cost and the importance of space planning. And the reason why that video is relevant to this video is that the workroom would not have existed in its current form had it not been for the advice of an architect. And therefore, check out that video to get insight into how to maximize the space in your home. Let's get into the workroom tour. Hope you enjoy it, thank you. <laughs> This is basically the entrance into the wet room and the first thing that I want to address is the bottom of the sink has a really weird silvery thing that's poking out. That seems to be a mistake that um, the plumber made and I, I'm going to have that fixed so that it's not visible in any way shape or form but for the time being we will just ignore that. So this is the entrance into the wet room but the first thing that you see is the uh, the basin um, which has beautiful brass accents and I talked about my workroom choices in a previous video and I went for raw brass which basically means that the brass does tarnish over time and I actually think it works really well in this space because it's going to end up giving it a much more kind of mature vintage and industrial feel um, but let's go in and have a closer look. The first thing that I want to start with is this beautiful tile by the British Ceramic Tile Company and it was absolutely the choice that I wanted to go for in this bathroom and I absolutely love it. So it has this really beautiful 3D star geometric design. You can also lay it in the form of a 3D cube, but for me, the star just made total, total sense. And it's just a great way to add a bit of drama into the space. So it is a very small space and I actually managed to fit quite a lot into the small space. And if you've watched one of my previous videos, you would have known that this actually used to be outside of the property and it used to be the alleyway that went into the garden and the original plan was basically just to have doors that look straight into the dining room and my architect advised me that that would be a complete waste of space rather than having this as a walkway into the dining room why not convert this into the wet room and it was one of the best pieces of advice that I was given so as mentioned the basin is the first thing that you see when you walk in and immediately adjacent to that basin is basically this beautiful industrial um, shower screen that you see here and this was for me a must have that I wanted to have in this bathroom. This combination of kind of traditional subway tiles but laid in a modern herringbone fashion and then this kind of you know um, uh, industrial shower screen with matching shower set. So these, um, the shower set actually came from a company called Luso Stone, who do great, great quality um, bathroom wear at, um, uh, at really good prices. Uh, I say good prices, it's all relative, but I think there are reasonable prices for the quality that you get from Luso Stone. 
So I'm going to go in a little bit closer so you can see, but um, it's just a really, really lovely space to be in compared to what actually used to be here before. So I've actually gone for um, herringbone st uh, tiles from floor all the way to ceiling, which you can see there. And I wanted to have the walls on this side, on this side, and on this side adorned with the herringbone tiles. Because it is, it is a wet room. But I actually didn't want to have this wall covered in tiles as well because I wanted to have the option to either have art or to have mirrors that would basically go on the right hand side wall so I'm really happy that I kept this open or tile free so I can actually add some beautiful decor pieces um, eventually to that side of the wall. So this is the shower screen and again this came from Luso Stone and it's gorgeous aluminium shower screen that I think works really really well in this space. As I mentioned I had gone for raw brass um, hardware when it comes to the basin and that basically means that over time it does patina and it does age. Initially I was a little bit annoyed about it but actually I really think it provides a mature almost kind of vintage and again industrial feel to the space so i have really grown to love it over time and if you watch my christmas aromas and scents video you will recognize this beautiful hand wash from um, rituals and i just think it works really really well in this bathroom um, with the brass accents also so that is a lovely lovely aspect that I'm happy to have brought into this space. I've also got some eucalyptus and baby's breath or gypsophilia in here. Unfortunately, the water has completely dried off, so I actually need to take these out and dry them out completely so I don't lose so I don't lose it completely. So the one thing that I am absolutely going to change in here are these radiators, and these were always meant to be temporary because completely to be completely honest with you, I ran out of budget. So the idea was to have bespoke brass radiators made, but naturally when you're going through renovation, your budget ends up um, being kind of, I suppose, um, eaten into by unforeseen costs and other things that you want to have done. So this is a temporary radiator that I'm going to have replaced with a beautiful satin brass um, bespoke piece that I hope to get done at some point this year. And then, um, this is obviously the shower area. Actually, before I talk about the shower area, I'll talk about this little station here where I have my beautiful ritual candles. Again, the Savage Garden, for those decadent moments where you just want to pamper yourself. And I've also got the Rituals um, hand um, lotion that I think looks really, really lovely. I've also got hand paper towels and then beautiful soap from the white company that you can see here. And then lastly, this is basically the shower area that is enclosed in this beautiful industrial aluminium shower screen. And it is a small area, but I think it's perfect for guests. Yep.
Thank you.